You know when something like a smell or a taste trigger a very cool memory? Well, that's the case for this thing right here, a delicious homemade apricot sweet vermouth. I brought back the recipe from Porto a few years ago and today I'm gonna tell you how to make it, why it triggers such a cool memory, and we're gonna make a delicious cocktail with it. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me again for this new cocktail video. Today's episode is gonna be very interesting, I believe, because we're gonna make a delicious cocktail, but we're also gonna show you how to make a sweet vermouth from scratch. And I said in the intro that this particular recipe triggers really cool memories for both of us, Sefra and I. That's because a few years ago, we were traveling in Europe, we stopped by Porto, and we went to this amazing place called the Royal Cocktail Club. And we met this gentleman, Daniel Carvalho. He was the Ed Bar bartender there back then and we had the best time. By the way, Daniel also won the best bartender in Portugal the year after we went there. So literally, it was the best place in town. It was so cool. I think we went there like, what, three days in a row? Yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. And we had the best time. And not only we had the best time, Sephra had the best Negroni she ever had in her entire life. And it was made out of this particular sweet vermouth. And Daniel was kind enough to share the recipe with us. And he also allowed us to share the recipe with you guys. So that's very cool and we're gonna start by making this delicious apricot sweet vermouth and then we're gonna make a cocktail with it. For the sweet vermouth recipe I'm gonna need my notebook because there's quite a few ingredients so bear with me guys and by the way Danielle I was not able to find all the ingredients from your list so I made a few adjustments but the result is pretty similar and it is based on your ratio. So first you're gonna weight your dry ingredients and you're gonna start by one gram of passion fruit berries 10 grams of dried orange zest, 2 grams of dried calendula, and 100 grams of dehydrated apricot finely chopped. You can place all your dried ingredients into a sous vide bag and set that aside. After that, you're gonna measure 100 ml of vodka, 400 ml of Chardonnay wine, and you're gonna add a quarter of an ounce of Saint Germain or elderflower liqueur. You're gonna pour your liquid over your dried ingredients in your sous vide bag, seal it, and cook it for one hour at 65 degrees Celsius. Once this is done, you can filter your mixture through a coffee filter, add 100 ml of honey syrup, a one-to-one -one ratio, and five ml of wormwood tincture. And this is the way we make this delicious homemade apricot sweet vermouth. Now, for the cocktail, we still have one homemade ingredient to make, and I said, jasmine infused gin. You will see this is way more simple to make. All you need is half a tablespoon of jasmine tea. I like to crush it a little bit with a mortal. It helps the infusion. And to that, you're gonna add six ounces of gin. I used an old time gin that is not too sweet and it is delicious, but I also made it before with regular London dry and it works just fine. So you can use the gin that you have at home. I'm sure it's gonna work perfectly. Now, all you have to do is to wait for one hour for the infusion to happen, fine strain it, bottle it up, and now we're ready to make the cocktail. We're gonna start with 1.5 ounce of our jasmine tea infused gin. To that, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of our apricot sweet vermouth. Three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Half an ounce of simple syrup. And three dashes of patio bitters. Now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. Now we can fine strain it into a beautiful cocktail coupe. And we're gonna garnish it with a lime wheel. 
And this, my friend, is how we make this cocktail. I like to call it the Pendennis number two because it's a riff on the classic Pendennis, which is gin, apricot brandy, lime, and pastel bitters. But in this case, we have more subtle notes of apricot, more complexity because of the vermouth. Let's give it a try. Mm. It is very light and refreshing. I love the floral notes from the jasmine. It goes really well with the apricot and the honey. The apricot is actually quite subtle, but still adds a lot of fruitiness to the cocktail. It's really well balanced. There's also a little bit of bitterness from the wormwood in the vermouth. Overall, I think it is a beautiful riff on the classic Pendennis. So before I end this video, if you guys want to know more about our experience at the Royal Cocktail Club with Daniel, Sifra wrote a very cool blog about it. So I'm going to link it in the description down below. And there's also the recipe for her favorite Negroni in there. So if you guys make the vermouth at home, you will be able to replicate this delicious cocktail. I highly recommend it. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you not already hit the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video thank you very much for watching have a great day and see you very soon cheers we got it yep cool so now we're just going to reset the station we're going to be ready to make the making of the ginger beer oh you guys still there you heard me we're going to make a homemade fermented ginger beer for the ultimate Moscow mule on this channel it takes a few days to ferment ginger beer at home but i think it's going to be pretty epic so guys stay tuned if you like this cocktail that's going to be a very cool episode so that's it for real now have a great day and see you very soon ciao